If you're still using PuTTY to SSH, you're doing it wrong. Welcome to Visual Studio Code. This is an incredible program, and I think you're gonna pretty quickly see why. What we're gonna to wanna to do is go to Extensions, and search Remote. The extension we're gonna to wanna to use is called Remote SSH. We're going to install it, and now you're gonna see that you have a little SSH symbol on your sidebar. Go ahead and click that, hit the plus button, and all you're gonna do is type in SSH, your username at the IP address of the server. Hit enter, tell it where you wanna save that information. The bottom right hand corner of the screen should have a little window pop up. Go ahead and hit connect. A new window will appear. You're gonna to have to tell it what kind of system you're SSHing into. Now you're gonna to wanna to enter your password. Now it's downloading VS Server on your remote device, which means you're gonna have the same program on both devices talking to each other. Now all you really have to do is go over to the Explorer hit open folder, and there you have it, you're logged in to the remote computer. Now on the left hand side here, that's gonna be all of the file structure of that computer. So you can create new folders, or you can create new files. In the top right hand quadrant is your file editor. So you can edit any file on that device right from here. And on the bottom, you have a working terminal. So you can do anything you can do in the CLI on that device right from here. VS Code makes it super easy for me to manage my servers, and I just wanted to make sure that you guys were able to do the same.